one metal protects where two roof lines intersect where water will come down. So this serves as a channel, just like that. See, water comes down. <laughs> the reason it has the uh, metal here is there's a lot of water coming down here that stops any cross going, cross penetration, I guess you could call it, into, uh, underneath the shingles on the other side. Not extending your valley enough in the corners out. I mean, you want to have it so it has enough lip that stuff gets out there and in. But you also don't want to have too much where like say this guard wasn't here, then this would be going out. So I mean, I'll figure out the right spot with the overhang because I have my overhang here. There are different ways to do a valley detail. The one that is popular in Minnesota is called the closed cut. <clears throat> it's an approved method of doing it. And what that involves is instead of valley metal here, well, we would have an under, we'd have a smooth valley metal installed underneath first, but then, <clears throat> then you install your shingles over onto this side. And then when you install the new, the other shingles, you overlap them and cut. So there's no exposed metal. Um, we've done it, it's approved. I don't prefer it um, currently because the aesthetics, um, especially on high profile houses, what you'll see under the one side is you'll see a lump where you overlap the shingles. And I just don't think it's aesthetically pleasing. Also, <clears throat> when you bend a shingle, like in a valley situation, say it's steep like this, and you have a lot of water running on this, on this crease part for years and years and years, you probably a lot, you're probably more likely to lose granules on that. Um, I, I don't know. It's an approved method by manufacturers and building code and spec'd out by a lot of engineers and designers. I just personally think the tried and true W Valley uh, gives you a more consistent, sleek look and just a little bit more longevity in my opinion.